What's going on, my favorite people? Welcome back to another episode of Drone Maverick. I'm your host, Ricky Burrows. Let's get right into it. If you've gone into Betaflight and seen this error in the video transmitter, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix the problem. So what you wanna do is go over to ports and under UART1, disabled, you wanna go ahead and select. Now, you wanna know before you go ahead and select one of these, you need to know what kind of uh, VTX protocol your drone has. I went with the Sedora SL5. I happen to really like this drone. It flies really, really well for the price. Can't beat it. And when you scroll down, you'll see VTX protocol is IRC Tramp. Now that's for this drone, but when you go to the manufacturer specs, that is what you want to find. Go back into Betaflight and then you want to go select the protocol that matches your drone. Hit save and reboot. Go to video transmitter and then bam, there it is. Now, when you first get this, it might be totally blank. You, like when I did this on a test run, I it was saying none, none, and none. And every time I hit this button, none of these were coming up. And I'm like, wow, what is that? What's up with that? So what you have to do is you have to click on this little word. It says go to this page and then you want to scroll down, find your your protocol, whichever one is for your drone, and click on the USA. And it will take you to a web browser that shows all this code. Now what you want to do is you want to simply click a spot, press control a or command a to select to highlight all of this all these numbers and then press uh, right click copy you then want to open up notepad and you want to press right click paste and then save the file as we'll make up a name sedora.json that's what you want to save it as json and then all files go ahead and hit save now this is saved as a json file and you have to go back into betaflight so now we're back in betaflight i'll move this out of the way and you want to load from file and see how i have this see i already did this before so the example let's just go ahead you want to find the json file that you just saved and then hit open and then all of this will populate it will it'll fill in all this information right here automatically go ahead hit save and then your 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 video transmitter issue is back to normal you can go ahead and select uh whatever you you want i know that when i updated my drone it asked me a question to reset to default and i think that's why my video transmitter just the information just kind of like disappeared so lesson learned if you are updating your firmware on your drone and a little pop-up that says reset to factory default i would say cancel that and you may have all your stuff there because now i have to go in and fill in all the other information that's missing from there all right guys so with that being said i hope this was helpful to you if you did find it helpful please hit the like button leave a comment below and subscribe to this channel my name is ricky burrows and i will see you on the next video